not super familiar with. I'm not going to pretend Honestly, I know what I'm doing here. No, not really. I haven't seen it get played very much. That's fine. I'm sure both of them are at least pretty familiar with the matchup from both perspectives. Especially because they've both been very long time Sylvanas main, know what how to, you know, take advantage of playing of that character. Right. Like even if you switch characters, you can still know how to play against your main because you know what you struggle with, which might kind of apply to what they struggle with. Yeah, you can have a good understanding. like just playing the character in general can be a good way to get an understanding of them. Yeah. Even if it's not like perfect. I've seen a lot of people do that for characters they struggle against to understand why they struggle with it, what they can do to abuse that character's weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Game one, going to Merchant, or Swampy Estuary. Yeah. Probably a comfort pick. I think I remember Giga liking this stage. Specifically this version, just for the aesthetic. And Same. It, it's a lot nicer than regular Merchant. I agree. AZ's going to be on me for that, but... <laughs> it's fine. No, I'll just let them go after me instead. Thank you. Appreciate it. Really good chomp there to catch Giga. They didn't get the first hit of that, but they used that as an anti-air. I'm not sure how disjointed it is, or if that's, like, very effective. And... You're coming immediately with the Uppy. Yeah, and that's going to be a potent kill option in just about every matchup. Yeah. Might not be as effective against Sylve as a character like, say, Raster or Absa, where they had so much success against Tapscott and Penguin, respectively. But I can still see it being very good as a kill option. Ooh, ooh that dare. I think if they got a charge fair, if they were holding down, which might be a little risky for a fastball, that mm -hmm. probably could have killed off the top at the side. Yeah, I mean, Giga does play on keyboards, so he should have a walk button or something. It's actually easier for him. Yeah, so they don't accidentally but... fastball. So. I mean, I can see that for a keyboard player benefit for a character like Hodon with a charge character where you can hold down and still do other things. Wow. Is... Uh... Yeah, the Upstrong just killed from across the stage. <laughs> Yeah, and even if they're not charged, like that set against Tapska, they could still accidentally just, you know, grab a stock mm -hmm. in the process. Something you gotta account for. Ooh, a lot of harassment with these sweat spirits. Great charge pair to take out off the side. Yeah, but it is maintaining the lead, but... Giga could definitely bring it back. Ooh. Oh my god, that drift out on the side. Could definitely bring it back. <laughs> Giga cheering a little bit. They're laughing. Might have been a little bit of bad DI on Coda's end, but it worked out. What was that? Like 20? It was 20, 31 before the hit. And then oh. a dare, and then they just drift out a little too hard. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit unfortunate, yeah. Definitely curious about these stage bands. Frozen, Fire Capital, Tempest? Kind of interesting. But an Abyss. And that's um, Coda banning that, surprisingly enough. And then going to Rockwall. Fair enough, honestly. Yeah, I think those were pretty good bans for Giga. This is um, this is a really, uh, really good stage for her on. But for Ooh, a player like last Coda, fair. I definitely see the benefit. Yeah, like we've mentioned, their punish game is incredibly refined. They're known to be a bit of a clipper, just wanting to go a little crazy with it. And I think just forcing people to hold in at the ledge, or at least just be much more conscious of their drift, is going to pay dividends for Coda's punish game. Totally. Let's see Chai and just get these up airs. Ooh, great poke there at the down tilt, forcing Coda to just roll back, have a little bit of a panic option there. Yeah, Coda's definitely a little bit antsy with these panic options. A lot of rolls, parry, that might be a little bit too preemptive. Just not being super comfortable right now. Especially because Giga's just been having a field day right now with all of these. His punishes have been clean, his setups have been really nice. Yeah. Stage control's been good too. And he's been having a really, not the easiest time, but he's been making do with getting out of a lot of Coda setups. A parry up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Crossing up and still somehow not purpling off the top. Very, uh, you need to have some really good DI out of that. Yeah, definitely. Sweat Spear, up B. Oh, I think could have air dodge or did they fall out of that? I'm not really sure. I'm still not used to these up, up B hit balls. They're so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Just teleports. All right, the throw on the Sweat Spear and that's- it's Barely gets the clip of that up B. Yeah. I can imagine that's incredibly hard to react to an air dodge out of because it's just, it's so fast. You have to anticipate it. 
And if not, then you get that perfect angle, much like a Silva up smash kind of hitbox, except you can just do it whenever. Yeah. And you're seeing... Oh, yeah. Put a roll in a little bit. I can definitely tell they're a little antsy. Gig has been all over them this game. Yeah. Popping off between those games. It's all over them. Composed. They're, they're chilling. Mm -hmm. But there, there's a character swap coming out. Is there? Ooh, wow. Thinking a little bit. I can probably see the Olympia, maybe? A lot of characters they could be picking, but Giga's been looking incredibly dominant these games. Yeah. And Code is the one coming from, from earlier in Losers, so they're the more warmed up one. Giga just lost to ZB and has been chilling. The Crag? I think Coda lost to ZB too, right? They both. Yeah. Crag. Yeah, wait, what? Coda's shrugging. I think they're just like, I'm doing, I'm chilling. Yeah. They just banned. I mean, they just picked no ban stages. Coda does have a Crag. There was the. Remember the Skyland bracket, the Trapeze Crags? Yeah, kind of. I don't think I watched it though. It was Coda ended up beating ZB even though it was you know air, crag. it was it was double crag but at the same time it was this like you know the ether stage where there's the big trampoline in the middle. I think Coda won that bracket and beat like two crag mains in that even though it was basically singles with a funny center platform. It doesn't mean much, but Coda can play crag. It is competent. Judging by Coda's shrug going into this game, I can tell it's a little bit of a, a meme pick or just like a, I just want to do some dumb stuff right now. Yeah, but it's working so far. They're in the lead here. It's doing something, especially when uh, Giga and, I mean, what was it? Oh, yeah, that was Giga that, I mean, Coda took out MSB. But like th this crag is, it's, it's doing something. I could definitely probably see the ZB inspiration from it, more just like movement heavy, a lot more just, you know, hit fall stuff coming out from Coda. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Weird, uh, weird Lariat on the platform. Yeah, he probably meant to fall through there just for like a landing option. Probably, Ooh, yeah. Up smash might have just gotten at least like a lot of percent, if not killed. A little bit low percent on a stage like tower. Yeah, Coda's doing a lot of these F smashes. I feel like up smashes would be much more successful, but I gotta yeah. trust the process. Ooh, I think they tried to catch that up B with the F smash, but in a lot of cases, up smash would definitely be more of a successful tool. Just interrupting the, uh, Giga for doing that, just risky F smash. Just being like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Respect me at ledge. Something that we've seen ZB do a lot in the past where he just pop you in the jaw for trying to extend and look at him from below. Up smash? Yeah. Coda has the lead for the, f the first time this set, but not the first time this game. Well, actually, I think they had the lead for a bit in game one and just died at like 30. Ah, uh, that makes sense. But it, it, it's hot on. Game one was kind of rough, yeah. yeah. Giga catches that tech in with down tilt. Really good poke option, quite literally a poke. Yeah, and we're seeing and here Giga. Ooh, that probably would have killed all lighter character. Mm -hmm. Craig's still in it though. Giga looking to just close out the stock and punch his ticket into grand finals. Yeah, once that run back against the Zeb. All he has to do is just get rid of this pillar and force Koda to. Well, Koda lands. Still some life here, as long as Koda makes the right decisions. And no Domni cancel might have just been too low to the ground. And ooh. Koda wants to just cast this DI in. They know that Giga's just going to be holding in because drifting out might be a little bit too risky. Yeah, oh no. This is looking it, scary. It could cost him. Ooh, I think Koda anticipated um, an attempted up B, mm. but it doesn't work out. Giga does a little, a little like, a little stretch a little, of relief. Yeah, it's not like a super serious pop off, but just like a, I don't have to deal with that. I'm in grand finals. Yeah. Here comes Zeevee. Aww. They're hugging it and out. And here comes Zeev. Yeah. He got a sprite in his